Are you trying to figure out how to manage resources in Jira? I'm going to be talking about this in this video. This video is part of our effort to deliver high quality training and learning materials inside the Tlazen ecosystem. If you want to support that, consider maybe subscribing to the channel and always remember that we have paid services in this area as well. So if you need any kind of consulting, implementation help or training, you can reach out to us and we are there to help. And now let's talk about how Jira allows you to manage resources or actually how it doesn't allow you to manage resources. Because essentially Jira, when you think about typical resource management, especially from the waterfall point of view, so you want to see who is loaded with what kind of work, what's assigned to whom, uh, how they are filled in terms of you know their capacity compared to the workload, there is nothing like this in Jira. And uh, as much as I would love to show you something interesting here, maybe on the timeline, maybe in, in, in sprints, maybe in um, reports, for example, here that are built in into out of the box Jira, you won't find anything like that. The, the only exception is that when you're working with uh, the Agile approach and you're working with the sprints, then essentially you get to see who is involved in, in, in the activities that are happening inside the sprint and you're able to do some things over here, but there is nothing that comes even close to what typically people are looking for when they are thinking about resource management. That's why, unfortunately, for your pockets or, or your company's finances, you will have to dig into some apps, some add-ons on top of Jira to help you manage resources. And th there are several of them. Um, well, actually, I should say that probably that there are many of them. Several of them do it pretty well. The, the, the one I want to show you today is Big Picture. I'm not going to lie, it's one of our favorite add-ons when it comes to all kinds of things regarding project management, including resource management. So if you, um, I have it installed over here. So if I go to my big picture over here, you will see that big picture um, takes care of the whole project management scheme, so to say. So you're covered when it comes to waterfall, you're covered when it comes to agile, you're covered when it comes to mixed methodologies, hybrid methodologies. This is very important for many of our customers, like 80% of our customers are somewhere in between those two worlds, right? But this tool also works for portfolio management, for program management, risk management. So many things can be beautifully done here in Big Picture, but we are going to be talking today about resource management. So I will show you two places uh, where, actually maybe three places even, where resource management actually happens in Big Picture. So the first place I want to take you to is the Gun view. So I'll, I'll, I'll hide the uh, resources panel for a moment and I want to show you that this is the view where you are able to see your gun. As ugly as it is over here, nothing really uh, spectacular, but that's sometimes how it looks like. You know, guns don't have to be like in the commercials, uh, beautiful um, flow of items connected one to another. Sometimes the project work is a little bit spread in time. Who knows? Maybe that's just exactly what it's, how it's supposed to look like. But here on a Gantt, you can already take a sneak peek at your resources. So, so you can enable the resource panel that appears here at the bottom. And then you have the first feedback regarding how your resources look like when it comes to um, the, the workload that is assigned to them. So the squares that you can see over here are indicators telling me, okay, what's good, what's bad. The colors, of course, describe the situation as well. The numbers on top of it make it a little bit more specific. And uh, even I get some warnings over here on the left side telling me who is maybe um, assigned to too many projects at the same time. So all of those valuable information are already coming from this resource panel on the Gantt chart. If you move on from the Gantt to the resources module in Big Picture, then you will get even more important information. So in, in this screen or on this screen, you will be able to dig in and acquire a lot more data, right? So you will see the capacity of, capacities of people over here. You will see the workload assigned to those people. If you want to see, you, it, it will also display the remaining uh, availability of the people. You're, you can see exactly what is assigned to whom. 
uh, you can dig into the data and see, for example, okay, why do I have red over here? And of course, from this screen, you also can do things about it because you can easily reassign tasks from one person to another. So I could, for example, try to assign this task to Yarek like this, and I could, I could, I get to save the um, availability of uh, Kaya over here, who is now not overbooked, and I can assign more work to her just by moving things around. Of course, there are um, a lot. There are lots of in, in, important things to remember when working with the resources module. There are lots of do's and don'ts uh, that uh, you should be aware of. So I'm not going to be covering those in a video. If, if you're interested in this, then absolutely go and take a look at our courses available on our website, uh, links in the description of this video. Um, but I am going to say over here that if you're looking for something that will help you in terms of teams, not only individuals, then Big Picture has you covered as well because you can easily switch to the team view and you get the similar information on the level of teams. And of course, it's worth to understand uh, how are the teams built, what contributes to the team's capacity, how resources are used inside the team, how they, how they are defined, how to manage their workload plans, their holiday plans, uh, their absences, the efficiency of the resources. So all of those things, again, we cover in a, in a training that you can go to if you want to. Um, but uh, another important aspect that I want to go into is that managing by teams is done not only here in the resources in kind of like a, a waterfall way, although if you want to, you can switch over here to the story points view, but you can also manage teams from the perspective of the board module. So let's see if I have any data over here. Um, we have reports turned on. That's okay. Let's get rid of the reports. But that also means if we ha if I have data in the reports, that means that ha I have some data over here. And from this screen, you also have your teams available over here. You can assign tasks to your teams. You can follow the totals on the level of those teams. For example, from the perspective of capacity allocation. And of course, Managing teams in terms of capacity is also available in Big Picture uh, with story points. So if you're looking for that kind of thing uh, to be somehow connected with your standard resource management even, all of those things are possible within just one tool. So basically what I'm trying to say is Jira doesn't do very well when it comes to uh, resource management. And if you want to manage your resources, you need to look outside the box, meaning Jira apps. Um, and if you would like to hear about possible solutions that could address the problems that you're currently facing or challenges or needs that you have in terms of resource management, simply drop us a note. There is an email probably over there uh, which you can use to write to us Tell us what you want to achieve and we will be happy to schedule a free call during which we will tell you uh, that there are some tools that can help your particular case or maybe there it's quite complicated and uh, there is nothing in the Atlassian ecosystem that can help you out. Although I do believe that most of the time we will be able to find a solution for you. And then if you want to carry on with this solution by yourself, by all means feel free to do that. If you will want to hire our professional services to help you out on the journey, we will also explain how we can help and uh, give you all kind of guidance that you might need. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll be seeing you in one of the next videos.